one. I went to go tackle the 75 cent bins again at uh, one of my local comic shops, uh, Now or Never, in San Diego and downtown. Um, but today they were having 25 cents, uh, 25 cent comics. So uh, even a bigger discount than I thought I was already getting. So I got a nice stack of books. I got this many books. This is about 43. I think that's what his count was, 43 books for $11 or something like that. 11, like 80 something. So a nice stack of books uh, for a very cheap price. There was some older Marvel stuff that I I gave a look. Uh, Exterminators 1 was there, so I decided to pick that up, Exterminators 4. Uh, there was another Charlton book, uh, Bullseye. This is number two. So um, like I said in one of the previous videos, I've rarely seen Charlton books, so every time I see one, I have a tendency to pick them up. Let me move these. So they're both in frame there. Uh, Exterminators number two. Starlight by Mark Miller. I grabbed this in one of the 75 cent or 50 cent bins before, um, but the cover was pretty damaged. This is actually in better condition. It's still not in great condition. There's like a waiver at the top of the, the book here. Oh, you could see some right there going on right there. But the other one had like a giant uh, dent in the spine. Those bother me a little bit more. So I grabbed this, I mean, can't complain for a quarter. I also picked up some titles that I think some friends might like. Uh, so I think one of my friends might dig this book just based off of the cover. I didn't get to take a look at it. So, uh, yeah, Sleepless number one. So I'll pass that along as, you know, a little stocking stuff or something like that. Velvet number one by Brubaker and Epting. I've heard good things about this series. So to find the first issue. I wonder if this is a, this is first printing. I don't see if I don't see it saying first printing, so maybe that that is when it's first printing. If you don't see it, right? I think they need to be up front if it's a second printing or something like that. Oh, that looks like a photorealistic image. There. So it looks nice, more of a realistic style. I got a lot more stuff to go through. Uh, this is for my buddy Ralph. He loves he loves Transformers, and uh, so he's kind of bedridden lately. So just grabbed him something to read. The Ballad of Sang. This is a Oni Press, a number one. The art looks interesting on the cover. Uh, Outcast issue twenty five. A twenty five cent copy I got for twenty five cents. So yeah, whatever. Uh, versus number three. So in one of the previous videos, I got number one. So I grabbed number three. Here's another copy of number three, just a different cover. And okay, dissonance. I want to say that's what that says. Uh, number one. So I like the cover art. So I didn't flip through. I uh, grabbed a couple of copies. And God Complex. I actually found number one in one of the bins a couple of uh, videos ago, and I actually lost the rest of the series. I saw the rest. I saw it two through twelve or something, in one of the earlier boxes, and uh, didn't see the number one. Didn't feel like looking for another new number one in a series, and ended up finding the number one in like the second to last box. And there was way too many to go through to find it again. Uh, Arrow. Number one, got a couple of copies. This is the origin of Wave, I believe. Uh, I looked it up to see if there was, uh, what was going on in this. And so Wave is the first Filipino character at Marvel Comics and Flintstones 11. This is a great series. If anyone has seen uh, or read these issues, like you, you know this is a good series. So if you uh, haven't read this, give this a look. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, oh, 
I forgot his first name, Russell. Russell is a great writer. He's, he's fantastic. He does a lot of social commentary, political jokes, um, but in the context of the Flintstone world, so it's, it's hilarious. And a lot of touching stuff uh, that you wouldn't expect from a Flintstone comic, so definitely check that out. Uh, I have, I collect Nightwing, so I was grabbing some filler stuff. Uh, I found a couple, it's Nightwing 63, this is a variant cover. Um, so just some filler issues. Power Man and Iron Fist. So in one of the previous videos, I got Power Man and Iron Fist number one. So they had number two in the box. I actually have uh, Black Science number three, but my issue had a huge dent in it. Um, and so this copy is a little bit better. I think this might be a different cover as well. Um, it's still, it's a little dirty right here. And then this is Black Science, I think 36 or something like that. This is one of the later, later issues um, that I was also missing. So I think I'm only missing one more issue for this entire run than I have the whole set. I have the whole series. Uh, Spider-Man Life Story number three. In the previous video, I got issue one. Um, I wish I would have grabbed the other issues. I didn't see any other ones there, just issue three. So they had like five or six copies of three, but previously they had like issues four, five, and six, but that was before I found issue one. So um, they were gone. The Beef, uh, there's just a funny title. It's a can of spam. Uh, so that was enough to, to reel me in for a quarter. Tainted Love, a Biochemical Romance. So um, that's the perfect description of spam. Uh, Guardian, uh, Guarding the Globe. So I actually own number one. I got it in a quarter bin, I think about a year ago. Um, I really like Invincible and these have the characters from Invincible in it. And uh, yeah, so for a court I picked up number three. Pretty Deadly. I've heard of this title, but I haven't, I can't remember what I heard about it. Uh, I'd imagine it's good um, since, since I'm hearing about it. Usually if, if the title's not good, you don't hear anything at all. So um, I think the guys on Anfo I Fanboy liked it. And so this is issue number three, four. I, th I swore I had number two, maybe it's in here. Um, here's The Raid, number one, I love this movie. So, I got a couple of different versions of it. Here it is, this is Pretty Deadly, number two. So, I'll find number one somewhere. So, I have the first four. Plastic, number one. I know nothing about this. I like the art, though, on the cover. I like, there's a, a, a cartooniness to it that I really like. Sledgehammer 44, this is one of three, and two of three. They unfortunately didn't have three of three there. Uh, more issue fillers, Nightwing 42, 41, and 40. Guarding the Globe number two, so now I have one, two, and three of this series. Uh, I actually have this already, but it's in really good condition uh, for the quarter bin and not being in a bag and board. Jupiter's Legacy number two, issue number one. So it's Mark Miller and Frank Quietly, so you can't go wrong there. Frank Quietly is a, Quietly, excuse me, hello, is one of the modern masters, so uh, picking that up for a quarter for sure. Doctor Strange number one, this is from my buddy Ralph. Uh, he likes the Marvel stuff, he likes the Marvel movies, Iron Man, and this artist, uh, Chris Bocciolo, is, is fantastic, so I know he'll enjoy that, so I grabbed that for him too. Um, another copy of Die, Die, Die number one. So this was in good condition. There was another one that had a huge dent, so I didn't get it. But uh, so this will be my fourth copy of Die, 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 uh, the regular version. And then another copy of Versus, uh, number one. So I got two running sets of Versus, number one. So, and I think those cost me 75 cents for the first uh, issue, a couple of issues. And then I th think I got issue two for 50 cents and then now getting one and two for uh, quarters. That's a pretty good deal. All right, oh, uh, one other thing before we go. So not only did I get all those books, but while I was going through the dollar bins, I actually saw these under the table. And so I thought there were actually books in them, so I was gonna go through them. I left them for the last, and uh, they were empty. Well, this one isn't empty, it has something in it now. But we got, uh, some Jim Lee Superman box action here. You got the Incredible Hulk. It's like Alex Ross right here. And then it's 
the same image. And then we have uh, the DC Comics bombshells. And this one's great. So uh, my favorite artist is Jim Lee, but one of my modern favorite artists is Ryan Otley. He's very much up there. Uh, I love his work. He has like this, this great, it's kind of like minimalistic when you look at certain figures. He just knows the right lines to use. And I love the way he draws uh, teeth. Not just monster teeth like here in uh, Lizard, but other other characters. Human teeth, his human teeth are fantastic. So let me... Spin this around. Yeah, so anyway, I ended up picking these up. Look at this side. This side's pretty cool. So uh, the price tags on these are $12.99, but I noticed that these were used. So I think who the uh, Now or Never owner bought these from, the, the, the set, all the books, I think some of them came in these boxes. So he just had them out there. And uh, so I asked him, I said, hey, by any chance are those for sale? And, oh, he got them from, uh, he got them from comics and stuff. Oh, so whoever bought the boxes, so not, maybe not the guy who sold the set, but um, anyway. Uh, so I asked him how much the boxes were if they were for sale, and he said uh, three bucks a piece. And so they normally go for 14, so $12.99 with tax, that's $14. So each one of these boxes is worth 14 bucks. He sold them to me for $3 a piece. So yeah, those, those are fantastic. Um, I'm gonna do another video where I show you my setup in my house, in my room, like all of my books. I finally got them organized after oh man it's been at least 15 years i want to say uh, 13 years 13 years since i've organized my comics so i finally did it and uh yeah so i'll do a video where i go through my setup and then so this these will actually uh be be worked into there so all right thanks guys thanks for watching this video uh, something a little different here at the end. So, but uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.